I'm going to install my new dataset plugin for ChatGPT and see how it works. I'm going to click uh, develop your own plugin. My manifest is ready and I've just deployed it to dataset.io. So I click that button. Everything looks okay. Click next. Install for me. Continue. Install plugin. Okay. So now we can start chatting. Let's do um, show me a list of tables. And it's using query against dataset.io. And it says it's got the following tables. We can expand that out and actually see what it did. Um, so it ran select group can count SQL semicolon from SQLite master and got back the full schema. And here we go. So it's quite fun that it already knows the difference between virtual tables and indexes and views and everything else. Um, let's say um, show latest data set news. I've got a news table. Is it smart enough to figure that out? It looks like, yep, this is entirely correct. Uh, we can again see that query and it ran select stuff news order by date descending limit five. That is indeed the contents of my news table. Let's do, um, what are the most popular plugins? Now this one's going to be a lot harder because the schema for this is a lot more complicated. Oh, this is fun as well. It um, knows about open graph um, image previews. So because some of the links in that news section were um, enabled with previews, it's shown me a few previews here. Oh, look at this. Here are the most popular dataset plugins based on the number of GitHub stars. And I can expand this out and see that, yeah, it did select name, full name, stargazers count from plugins, order by stargazers count descend, descending limit five. That's actually a really good answer. And again, we've got those previews showing up. Um, so yeah, this is, this is honestly pretty astonishing that it can do all of this already just just with the thing that I've given here. If you want to know more about this, um, I've got an article on my blog that you can read, which I'll link to in the description.